actually been a really long time since we've done this. Like, it has been. I don't know. When was our last, like, 18 plus one? Oh, that was ages ago. Yeah. But, like, you and I podcast in general has been ages ago. Yeah. Like, uh, we've just generally <laughs> been so busy. Yeah. So, it's been a bit difficult. But, yeah. I mean, hey. We can talk about we it. it now. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. So obviously, you guys can see us now. Um. It's been audio recordings for a while. Um. So we're trying something new. We've got our little grandma set up at the moment. Hell yeah! Because, with our rocking chairs. Yes. Because it's actually like really nice. It's, it's so just, comfy. I know. <laughs> I woke up from a nap like an hour ago. Not even. Um. Yeah. But yeah. So I guess. <laughs> the setting looks a lot different to the context that we're going to be talking about, I suppose. Yeah. Um, disclaimer, if you're under 18, like, some of these questions and opinions might not be for you. Um, yeah, just always be careful with what we say, essentially. Basically, yeah. yeah. And by all means, everything that we say is very much, like, opinion-based. It's not, you know, everyone has an opinion about shit, so it's not a legit... Yeah. What am I trying to say? <laughs> we're not taking jabs on each other, but if, or like people or things. Yeah, yeah. And if you think we are, then that's your fault. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. Essentially. Yeah. So a few months back, we did a eighteen plus content one, and we actually got an email from a really cool person <laughs> um, talking about a story. It was really, really cool. Um, I was surprised because I never really thought we'd get something. Like I mean, that. <laughs> yeah, we both were because we were like. I remember we were in class at uni, and yeah. I was like, yo. <laughs> yeah. So we just got an email. We, we got sent a interesting picture. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, it was, it was just really funny. Um, thank you heaps to... It has been a very long time. I'm so sorry if I forget. Yeah, it's Sue. Sue! Yeah. Thank you. Much love. Yeah. So for context clues, we were talking about, like, does size really matter when it comes to, you know, men's downstairs regions stuff like that <laughs> the appendage yeah the appendage yeah um and basically they sent us a lovely email so we thought that we would just kind of read it and kind of a re-remember because it's been a while yeah and be just kind of like talk about it a bit so i've got it on my phone it's a long email i'm not going to put it on screen just so it's a bit safe but mm-hmm. basically it says hi ja- wow i just went to say dakota <laughs> <laughs> makes sense we're doing great mm-hmm. Hi, Jada and Dakota. I just wanted to start off by saying that you're both so gorgeous, so amazing, so hilarious, and so full of positive energy in your awesome work in progress podcast. Much love, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've absolutely loved both of your content so far, and I've had such a good laugh. And if the first three are anything to go by, then we're all in for a wild ride. I really do hope you keep on creating more content, and thank you both for thank you both so much for taking the time to make it and share it with all of us. I had to write to you. I had to write with you a story of mine after listening to your episode called Does It Matter? Or Does Size Matter? Which is um, episode four, for anyone wondering. Um, where you answer questions related to the difficulties of the modern day dating world, as well as discussing unsolicited dick pics. Oh yeah, we talked about that too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Wow. Throwback. And how scary. <laughs> yes. Basically. Mm. So it keeps on going saying... Just how uh, we get to the stage we're in right now, where today dating apps include the selection of rejecting potential partners through a simple swipe of a finger, and the most bizarre of, of course, the dreaded unsolicited dick pic. Just how did this become a thing? The most modern day dating world really is such a strange place, especially for us women. Receiving these pics is the story of my life on social media at the moment. I really don't know what's going through their minds, either when they send us these pics and how they expect us to react to them. I get so many of these pictures sent to me on Tinder that I can make a coffee table book full of them and don't even get me started on Snapchat. Oh my god. Honey. Mm, Far out. (laughs) Why are you getting so many? (laughs) That's scary. Mm. My awkward story is about one about... I can't read. That's mine. Holy shit. Isn't this about a... Sorry, I'm... No, go for it. I believe the story was about someone she was talking to for a while. Um, and they were... What's the nice word? They were exaggerating. Yeah. And really promoting length. Mm -hmm. Um, and sent her an explicit picture. And she decided to send it to us. (laughs) Yeah. Um... Just to preface now, we're more than happy to have these emails and stuff like that. 
maybe not send those types of pictures. Um, or just a disclaimer, because the last thing I want to do is open an email at uni and turns out there's a huge penis on my screen. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, not huge, but like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I know there's a disclaimer at the end of the email, but if you're going to, maybe put it at the top of the email, um, because this is a very long email. But, mm. you know, maybe just keep those pics to a minimum. But that's okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so my story is an awkward one about how I and some of the other women at work got our own back on someone who sent me an unsolicited dick pic, and I thought it'd be fun to share it with you both. It also shows just what can go wrong if these pics are sent out, especially when they're unsolicited, and especially if they have exaggerated about their size before and why a size now matters to me because of it. It's so true when you say about once it is sent, there's no turning back. I really hope that it provides some entertainment for you both in return. I feel bad. <laughs> you feel bad? Yeah. Because to me, like, hearing the entertainment as I'm like, it's to make fun of it. And I'm like... Oh, yeah. Like, you're taking the piss out of someone's length. Yeah. Like, you know... It's an interesting one, right? Because, like, um... I don't know if I have mentioned this before, but, like, we might even talk about it a little bit in the yeah. podcast. But there's a difference between like confidence and being egotistical yeah kind of thing so like if you're i don't know confidence is really attractive like it can be really really attractive but until you start like being all up yourself and being like this and that like yeah misogynistic and stuff like that it kind of just goes downhill (laughs) so um yeah yeah i don't know it's just like one of those things where it's just like Mm. It's a, I'm sad that you had to like you and other women at work are getting these pictures mm. that's just scary enough but um, so on with my story a guy mm. I used to work with uh, used to always used to brag about having a huge penis he always looked for an opportunity to talk about how big he was and how so many women were after him because of it he once said that he had a 10 incher in quotation marks I'm sure you've both come across someone like this at some stage yeah. <laughs> if not, then I'll scale, like, make jokes about it in the group. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know I, I mean? I've never really come across a person, but, yeah, me and the boys take the pits all the time. Yeah. In terms of, like, like... Like, I know there's, like, a joke, but mm. I don't know if I've met, like, a single guy who dead serious was, like, about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Nah, I've yeah. never met, nah. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's always interesting, though. But it can you saying, like, you know, this all changed, however, when he sent me a dick pic. His pic was an up-close one of his dick with a ruler right next to it so I could see exactly how long it was fully erect. I don't know what he was thinking, but it wasn't anything to boast about. It looked like it was about 5.5 inches long. (laughs) He then sent me a message about 15 minutes later begging me to not show it to anyone else and saying that he was sorry, but I'd already sent it to every one of my female friends (laughs) by that point. What woman wouldn't have if only to warn them all about him? That is where I will disagree. Okay. Because you can warn your friends, mm-hmm. but they don't need to see it. Mm. Like, if they ask... Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's still a great period. Because isn't that technically illegal? At least here. Because you yeah. can't send, like, yeah. naked pictures around uh, without consent. Yeah. Like, if I got sent a dick pic and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't share it. I'd delete it. Yeah. That's just a personal preference for me. Like, there's... As much as you probably didn't like his attitude between it, humiliation is a bitch. So I, yeah. Like, yeah. I probably wouldn't do that per se, but yeah. Like, if your entire, like, friendship group is built on, like, you know, if you have, like, a particular, like, group chat that you will send that through, sure, because that's what you guys do, but, yeah. like, anything out of that, I'd just be careful, because I yeah. know here, like, you could probably get in trouble for that. Oh, yeah, big time. So. Yeah. Maybe just be careful. Um, but, you know. You seem old enough to know what you're doing, so that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. It was no accident that he sent it to me, as I found out that he also sent it to someone else with the same apology to her around the 15-minute mark. I think that some of them needed a really good laugh, and they sure as hell got one. From then on, we kept on making jokes at work by measuring various items in the office of the ruler and saying things like, Damn, the thing's smaller than I expected. It doesn't even measure six inches. Followed by lots of laughter. It was so funny watching him go as red as a beetroot, even though we weren't even talking about his junk. They really do need to understand that if they send unsolicited dick pics, then it's open season for us to send to all of our girlfriends to point and laugh at as well as criticise and judge. 
Telling them that it's small seems to work really well in getting them to stop. The dick pic guy left two weeks later, probably through embarrassment. Our boss didn't understand what was going on until after he left. Afterwards, we told her and she had a really good laugh and said it served him right. How could we carry on working normally after going through that? Now, this is now the reason that I consider an erect penis six inches or less to be smaller. Do they expect us to react to the unsolicited dick pics with a message of, ooh, that's such a nice penis, is that all for me? Oh my god. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, I feel so lucky, it's so big and turned on. Oh no, that's so gross. <laughs> Before we magically jump through the screen, desperate for sex, and then jump on top. Surely they must know by now that this approach doesn't work. And we are much more likely to show their pics to their friends and have a good laugh at them. Thank you both so much again, Jerry and Dakota, for your wonderful podcast and for the laughs they've given me. And I really hope my, my story cheers you up and gives you both a good laugh. Have a wonderful day, Sue. And then, P.S. If you want to see the picture, I've added it to the bottom. So, yeah. <laughs> we were a bit jump scared by the picture. Oh, I didn't I even expect it, because like, Jada's like, oh, read this. And I'm like, alright, cool. Reading, yeah. reading, reading. Okay. Because on mine, it blocked the picture, so I couldn't see it. Oh. Okay. And so when you had that reaction, I was like, why are you having a reaction? Yeah. And I saw it said, did you want to unblock this? And I was like, yeah, okay. And I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> Put it back. Because <laughs> it was definitely awkward. Because I remember our lecturer was like walking around to like mm. check with us. And we're all like, hide it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Far out. Yeah, that's that was crazy. kind of weird. Yes. But thank you for sharing your stories. Yes. I much appreciate you, Sue. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. It's, oh, see, it, it's. It's incredible to see how many ways people kind of deal with that mm. kind of content. Yeah. If that makes sense. Um, look, I'm glad you guys got a laugh at it and stuff like that. Um, I personally probably wouldn't have done it that way. But yeah, like definitely getting... I don't want to say back at him a little bit. Like, Yeah, like I get what you mean. It's a hard kind of topic, yeah. Like clearly from what it sounds like you've gotten more than one so it sounds like your group has probably gotten more than one which means you're probably like so used to it at this point yeah. where for us like i don't know about you but like i haven't gotten any so um do you know what i mean like not not necessarily dick pics but i've had a few people kind of like hit me up but like sometimes it just gets really frustrating because like it's a process that is so like obvious mm -hmm. so they're like hey it was like your normal hey and it's like how old are you where do you live yeah this and that i had a dude the other day i'm really blunt about these situations too if they try and hit me up and stuff like that i'm not interested i have a partner all that kind of stuff yeah and i'm like one i have a partner two i'm not interested and three i have no idea who you are yeah and he's like why does that matter and I'm like, because I, of one, two, and three. <laughs> I have a partner. And he's like, yeah, we can just be friends. And I'm like, no, no, I, no. It's like, no, not into friends with benefits. And so the way I kind of rubbed it in was I posted a picture of me and my partner freaking. Yeah, <laughs> kissing. That was me, such a like, happy, picture. Yeah, like happiest with you and stuff like that. Like, there's the little. Yeah, it's kind of like a little, like, see, just mm. just remind you, I am with someone and I'm happy in this relationship. Just kind of push it a little bit more. Yeah, and, like, I just wanted to make it known. It's like, yeah, well, six months ago I would have been like, whatever kind of thing. But, yeah, now it's like, no, I'll rub it in just a little bit. So. Yeah, because you're kind of, you know, you're in a happy relationship, which is, you know, a positive thing. <laughs> like, you <laughs> know. going to be like, I'm right uh, No. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? No, he's a good, he's a good egg. Yes. Yes. I know, six months ago, like, when we did this podcast, it's so funny because I feel like half of my whole perspective has changed a little bit. Yeah. Because, like... Well, I mean, a lot's really changed for us in six months. Oh, yeah. Like, not even like that. Like, we're in a new place. Like, I'm in a new house. Like, I've moved out, which you guys have seen vlogs of, but, like, you know, this is the study. This is a whole new room. Like, we're both at new unis now. Like... That's you crazy. Know, you're, like, doing really well in your, like, job, which is, you know, I think you just got into when we, like, kind of took a break from doing podcasts and stuff like that, or, like, yeah. close around that area. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know, so. It's just it's been crazy. But, like, it's it's cool because we've been able to kind of, like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Breathe a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Um, and trying to do podcasts and stuff like that. Sometimes it just gets really hard to balance. But it's cool that we've got this time um, to kind of just... 
We're winging Sorry, it, by yeah. the way. Four thousand percent. We are like this one's very much winged. Um, yeah, like this is just kind of like catch up, see how we're doing. Yeah, like uh, we're experimenting with a lot of the visuals and stuff like that, um, seeing yeah. what we can do, um, and then kind of what topics. Yeah. The, there's a few things that I'd love to mention on this podcast today. So, um, yeah. What's up? You want to mention yeah. stuff? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not really sure. I'll probably wait till later on to ask certain questions. Um, but I don't know if you've seen much about it. This kind of comes, like, off topic in yeah. terms of the 18 plus. That's fine. But, like, there's been a lot in a lot of different podcasts launching these days. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but it's made me a little bit nervous to do these podcasts. Fair. I've been, I'm going to be like very open about it and stuff like that because there's a lot of opinions. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of male focused podcasts. Yeah. Um, and a lot of female podcasts and stuff like that, that have been mentioning a few different things. Yeah. Um, I'm actually curious. Do you reckon podcasts should require a license in terms of content and stuff like that? Hmm. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So as in just like a license in what they can and can't talk about or? Yeah. It's more of like a, um, say in terms of assessing it, it'd be like content, um, I don't know. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. I guess it's interesting to kind of discuss that because like on YouTube, they would have that. Mm. Spotify, it's a playing field, but I know they're mm. discussing that because there were some issues not long ago with one of the podcasts. I'm trying to remember who it was, but like, because it's a very popular, one of the most popular podcasts. Okay. And basically, he was saying a lot of like racist stuff and yeah. going through all that, but Spotify was like, no, well, he's fine because he's saying an opinion. So it's like, especially when it comes to the American podcasts and stuff like that, where their whole thing is, you know, freedom and free speech and all this stuff. Yep. Like, I get that. But there's also a line between saying things that will affect other cultures and saying stuff that you can just have a conversation with. Yeah. Like, everyone is entitled to their own opinion and stuff like that, but until you push it like it's some factual evidence, yeah, that's not that, I believe. Like, Yeah, no. Stuff. I agree with that. Yeah. In terms of, like, examples, it's, like, um, comparison. It's like, I hate the whole comparing to, like, which, like, men and female, like, what's more painful? Like, yeah. You know, all this kind of stuff, because it just doesn't really make sense. Um, well, it's also something that we can't really compare. Like, as yeah. much as we try to, mm. you just can't. Like, even if we go down, like, you know, the whole pain path, like, when mm. people always say, like, oh, periods are really painful. Yeah. Well, that's only for some people. Yeah. Other people, they have no pain. Mm. So does that make them less of a woman or female? Yeah. And then does it make you a woman to have a period? It's so many, like, mm. questions. Because, you know, like, I remember as a kid always being told, when you have your period, you're a woman. Until then, you're a girl. Yeah. So just because, like, if you have a lot of it or not a lot, does that make you more or less of a woman? Okay. It's interesting. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? It's kind of mm. those questions that come into play then. And there's so many random questions I feel like are kind of over the top and a bit unnecessary. Yeah. Like, mm. having a period or not should not mean you're a woman or not. That shouldn't be the only, like, defining factor. Because mm. there's so many people that can... Yeah, I mean, mm. in terms of, like... So, yeah, I would say, like... You know, when you first have your period, that is your first step into womanhood. Yeah. But it's kind of weird, because, like, me, for example, I got my period at 11. Mm -hmm. That's still really young yeah. into, like, your next step into womanhood. Yeah. So, like, I would maybe, like, consider it more so, like, age-based. Yeah. Like, I don't know, because, like, some people get their period at, like, 14 or, like... Yeah, I got mine when I was 13. Yeah. So... It just sounds really weird, like, when you're that young and they're like, oh yeah, womanhood, like... It's like, bro, I barely know math, like, yeah, how am I supposed like, to be a woman? I haven't woman? been here for that long, am I already classed as a woman? It's like, mm, -mm. Yeah. I don't know, because it's always interesting, because, like... Oh, gosh. Yeah. Like, nowadays, like, I don't care sharing this, like, because I've got an implant on my arm, I don't get periods anymore. So does that not make me a woman? Because I stopped getting them. But then it's like... 
no, I still am because I'm still fit the characteristics, quote unquote, of everything else. Mm. But just because I don't get a period, does that then make me less of a woman or not at all? Because I don't go through that cycle of things. Okay. Do you see my point in that? Kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's a random fair. thought. I come up with the weirdest thought processes. No, that's fair. I mean, yeah, it's something I haven't really thought about. To yeah. Be honest. But like, yeah. So you're saying like if you don't have your period or like does that mean you miss out on being more of a woman or it kind of takes you away from yeah kind of because like stereotypically periods are associated with women mm-hmm. whereas like nowadays <laughs> it's gonna be weird but like nowadays you don't have to be born a female to be to have a period because you can transition from male to female mm-hmm. and still have periods because okay. so, you weren't born a female doesn't mean you're not a woman like mm those things yeah so yeah. if i'm born a female but if i don't have periods does that still make me a woman like what is the ca- what right. defines a woman essentially right. is it the period or is it other things i would just say vagina but <laughs> yeah because like that's what i would think as well just kind of you know do you classify yourself as a woman yes no cool you know? it's so like it's crazy because like you know there's so much talk about gender sexuality and stuff like that that i can't even comprehend like there's yeah. so much <laughs> like yeah there's, I don't know, it's just a massive genre now yeah there's a lot of like labels and things like that that we're probably very both unfamiliar with and i don't think a lot of people yeah, i'm like too know. scared to mention it because i'm worried i'm gonna get like fucking body slammed or something like that. Yeah, like, it's fine, because, you know, like, it is one of those things. Like, as much Mm. as we can try and research and learn, like, as long as we're trying our best, we're not going out of our way to be rude to anyone. Yeah, Like, it's one of those things where you kind of just learn and see how you go. Mm. Like, you know, I, like, recently I've been trying to say, like, instead of boyfriend or girlfriend for people, I just try and say partner. I always say partner. Because it's just generic blanket statement. Mm. Because then you don't have to be, like, like whatever. I don't. And like to be honest, like me personally, uh, boyfriend just sounds like I don't know. It like, sounds kind of childish in some yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm in high school and like yeah, like, this is my boyfriend. It's like oh my boyfriend's it's gonna like, pick me up. No, this is my partner. It feels it kind better. of feels more official. Yeah, in some ways. Yep. Um. Yeah, it's just easier, I suppose. It's like <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Yeah, because like. I hate being like, I have a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, it's like, oh yeah, me and my boyfriend did this, me and that. I, I just like partner better. It's just nice in general. Like, yeah. And I feel like it works well kind of like for our friendship group in general because mm-hmm. like we're such a chaotic friendship group, but we're all like attracted. Well, a lot of us are attracted to different people. So then we don't have to worry about being like, oh, like, you know, have you found mm. a boyfriend yet? They're like, oh, I have a girlfriend now. And you're not like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just like, yeah. oh, you know, how's your partner going? Oh, they're great. Or, yeah, know, it's, it's very gender neutral, um, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're all chill about it, which is super, super good. Yeah, which I think is a positive mm. because, you know, like, the more we're kind of hanging out, hanging out quite much with other people. <laughs> yeah. Not that we really do, but the, yeah. <laughs> you know, the more we're like going to like uni, or the more we're just going to like other people's parties or stuff like that, mm. the more new people we're meeting. So it's just kind of like I need to be very generic in what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, I'm finding that with work too. There's mm-hmm. so many different different people, and we love to elaborate on pronouns. Yeah, like which is really really cool at work. Um, there's a few they and thems at work that I'm still trying to learn because sometimes it's just, you know, you're so used to saying she, him, yeah, all that kind of stuff. So it's like I have to learn again. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah. well, they're really cool. Um, you're kind of retraining your brain again. Yeah. And like, I always like say sorry if I muck it up and stuff. It's like, I'm just so used to it. It's mm-hmm. just a habit. Um, but it's good that, you know, obviously the world is, like, shifting a little bit in that sense. Yeah, we're slowly starting to accept things more and more. Diversity. I mean, yeah, I like, it's interesting, we're starting to accept those things more. But I feel like as soon as we start accepting things, something else falters or falls, and it's just kind of like a constant... Yeah. Like, trying to pick something up again. 
Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but I know for me, like I remember trying to teach myself like they them instead of just saying like, oh like she looks pretty walking across the road. I'd just be like, oh they. So anyone mm. I don't know personally, I would just say they all oh, the okay. time. Yeah, because it's just easier then in case I yeah. then accidentally say the wrong pronoun and I don't know, mm. or like even if I'm chatting to a friend and they say like, oh. You know, she said this, like, oh, that's, they sound really cool. Yeah. Not because I'm trying to correct them, but because, like, for me personally, I wait until someone tells me their pronouns, yeah, if they're yeah. comfortable, or if I say, like, oh, you know, oh, that's really amazing, like, that, they sound really cool, and they go, oh, they mm. prefer she. I'm like, yeah. right. I feel like they's the, kind of, like, middle ground, and mm. you can kind of pick from there. Yeah, gotcha. So, I don't know. It's complicated. It is, it really is. But we're getting there. Yeah. Speaking of complicated, how are you going with uni? <laughs> oh God, just, Jesus Christ. I don't even know. Uh, it's definitely a new experience. Like Oh, for sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, being able to tell people like, oh yeah, this is my second degree mm-hmm. is a powerhouse it, move. I oh, don't know, yeah. something about it is just like, yeah, this is pretty fucking cool. Um, it's stressful because like, I never knew that the like dynamics of that uni was so different to our previous one and it feels like you're in a movie yeah it's like the best feeling you're just you actually feel like you're in that stereotypical american movie where you see them go to uni Mm -hmm. and got students everywhere and sitting in the parks half asleep you know stuff like that yeah like full freaking movie and it's so cool um like our uni was like two stories <clears throat> and that was it. Like yeah. that was our campus. Whereas this one, it's literally like, you know, like Monsters University. <laughs> like, like Monsters. it's it's massive. Um, there's like you know great halls. There's just it's everything. It's yeah. so cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, like I remember because we're about five weeks into it now as I'm recording this. Mm-hmm. I remember for me like my first week. I was just like, I am so stressed out. Yep. Where is everything? And mm-hmm. like, we don't drink, but we would meet up at the uni bar <laughs> yeah. like every day. Yeah, we call it the pub. It's so yeah. good. <laughs> we just meet up at the pub and just be like, are you doing okay? Yeah. Uh, sit with me, stress yeah. mode. Like, we didn't get a drink or anything. We'd just sit there and be like, I felt like okay. a good drink. I was like, nah. Yeah, no, I was like, there's a PowerPoint here. Yeah. PowerPoints. Yeah. Oh, so hard to find. I know. It's like, like oh, it's just, why? I don't even know. It's such a massive place. Why is there no powerpoints? Mm. It's just like oh. it's it's crazy. Like even sitting next to like students, like because you're so used to having your own space. Um, in terms of like our last year, yeah. there was heaps of free space. This it's literally like shoulder to shoulder in some of the seatings mm-hmm. and it's so awkward because I just want that extra space. Yeah, because we're yeah. used to like when we're having like an entire classroom to ourselves. Yeah, literally. Like we literally could book out a room mm. just for like one of us to study in. Yeah. And now it's like, you know, go to the study spaces and there's like hundreds it's and hundreds n- of kids yeah. all trying to find somewhere to charge their laptops or phones just something and if they're not there then they're definitely in like where all the food is yeah yeah it's one or the other it's wild it's just like i don't even know yeah like i need to rock up at like 6 a.m just to get a freaking booth or something like that yeah it sucks <laughs> but then i do like notice you can see definitely when people like come out of their classes or not mm. you can see like everyone coming out at lunchtime and then immediately goes quiet at yeah. like three o'clock mm. Because I feel yeah. like most classes finish around, like, 3, and then the other ones will finish at, it's like, 6 o'clock. Yeah. So unless you want to stay really late, like, you know, 7 onwards, yeah, you'll get charged. But then even then, it's like, do I really want to stay that late? Mm. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, it's just been really cool, though. Yeah. Being able to actually, like, study something that prioritizes your passions is a lot of fun. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because we're both doing, like, two different degrees now. Because we're not doing the same one anymore. Because mm. we finished that. That's completed. Yes. <sighs> Hopefully. Yes. We made it. Woo! Yay. Hopefully we get that soon. That should be happening in a couple of months. Yes. Yeah. So we've definitely um, changed focus in terms of, like, media designs. I'm doing film studies in Japanese now. Yeah. Something that I've been wanting to do for, like, years. Um, which is really cool to make that happen and then yeah and I'm doing creative writing so it's still Mm -hmm. like we're both still in the creative field yeah we're just not 
doing particularly design anymore. Like, and we don't mm. like. I don't have anything against design. I just couldn't draw. Yeah. So <laughs> it's hard to design yeah. when you can't draw. Mm. Um, I somehow got through. So who knows? But you know, it's just kind of like, eh. it's been crazy. <laughs> Still waking up from your nap, I Yeah, see. I am. Um, I'm going yeah. on some random tangents. But it's okay. Hey, that's the joy of it. Yeah. This is just all the random shit going on in our yeah. lives. Yeah. Like, oh my god, both of us have had such bad car issues. It's just like, holy shit. Done. Like, yeah. Don't talk with me about it. <laughs> like, literally, like, a couple of days before Christmas, I got into a car crash. And then, so, it took, like, two or three months just to get my car sorted it wasn't even that badly damaged it mm. literally had like a dent in it and they wanted like i think they said like 11 or 12 grand to get yeah. a dent out and i'm like hello <laughs> i'll do it myself yeah <laughs> like just yeah. fix this little tiny dent here i don't care rest of it just leave it because the issue was because the back and front are a quarter inch steel which you don't get anymore mm. they're like well it's gonna cost way too much I'm yep. like, there's nothing wrong with the front of my car. Yeah. Just, just fix the back. Like, yep. that's it. I was like, I don't care about anything else. Like, I'll get the rest sorted myself. Mm. I was like, just do this little bit. And they're like, yeah, okay, sure. But they hated it because, like, you know, mum and I were talking to them. They're mm. like, no, we can't do it. As soon as dad called, they're like, yes, of course, we'll do it. Right away, sir. And oh I'm like, mm, sexism. You can just, like, click his fingers and be like, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, literally when we picked it up, he was like, don't worry, your little heads. Like, we've told your husband everything you need oh, to worry about. That's like, so annoying. just drive home. And I was like, <sighs> I hate that. Even like down at the car. So, we went car shopping today for me. Yeah. Um, but I know it's realistically right. There's a, a lot more male demographics that like cars and females. But I hate the whole mansplaining situation. It's like, I don't know a lot, a lot about cars. That's just how it is. I, they don't interest me that much. But I know a general amount. So going into the car yards, he's like, do you want a small car? Do you want a big car? Um, yeah. I don't know, where do you, like, do you drive a lot? And I'm yeah. like, oh, for fuck's sake. Like, Even that, like, one dude we saw who was trying to us for a bit, he uh, the first thing he said to us is like, oh, so you two girls are getting a car. So you want the really small car? And me thinking with my Jeep Cherokee, that's the last car, like, mm hmm. Yeah. Sure, recommend me the smallest car you got mm. because you think that because like, we're girls. I'm like, no, mm. like, we can have big ass cars, just, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, like, sure, if a chick wants a small car, that's fine. Um, but that shouldn't be the first assumption. Awesome. Well, now I have some questions for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, these are just simple conversation starters. So they're not going to be very dramatic. It's no, okay. it's fine. Hit me. Bah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> What's the strongest animal you think you can actually take on in a fight? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Straight off the bat. <laughs> I think it's tricky because if... So this is on the basis that the animal is ready to fight you. Yep. I'm going to say an ant. Because <laughs> I know I'd win. <laughs> Bro, a bullet ant would kill you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, I just said like a normal black ant. Like that, that's that's cool. true. An animal that I would generally take on. Oh my god. Um, Chihuahuas are scary. I hate chihuahuas. They're the worst animals. Oh my god, I hate chihuahuas. I'll take on a bee any day. A chihuahua, no thank you. Yeah, you took on a bee today. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, chihuahuas, I'm like, no. They're just, they're just grumpy. They're what I imagine like when Karens get grumpy, that's what they look like in my head. Yeah, they yap is Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna yap my head off. Yeah. I don't know, what's the strongest animal? I have a lot of dreams where I'm getting attacked by a cat. Like a big cat, small cat? House cat? Like a normal oh, well, it's not normal. Um <laughs> like a feral cat, I think. Yeah. It always holds onto my arm. Like tries to Weird. Yeah. I'm trying to think, yeah. I feel like cats I could like House cats are fine to take on. See, dogs get tricky because, like, I wouldn't want to take on like a German Shepherd because they would annihilate me. Oh my me. god, they would, yeah. Like any large dog, I know would knock me over. I've been there, done that. So mm. unless I had food on me, then I could take them. <laughs> so, no, I'm Fair. Just, yeah, yeah, just feed the treats. I'm like, shh. Yeah. Side <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm trying to think. Like, 
animals in the wild. Oh boy. Uh, maybe like a goose or a duck. <laughs> I hate gooses. Get out. They are so bad. I hate them so much. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Like, I couldn't outrun an emu. I literally had emu in, it, yeah. in my head. Oh my god. Like, that's the thing, though. You can't outrun them. So unless you just, like, put a trap down and then trap them. And they can't do much other than peck you. Yeah, but have you seen them velociraptor looking feet? <laughs> like, yeah. nah. That's what I'm saying. All you'd have to do is put them in a trap, right? And yeah. then just go behind. One, two, hit, so done. I'm plucking it for dinner. <laughs> plucking its feathers. Yeah, I wonder what an emu egg tastes like. I am so, like, off topic. These, Bro, like, just randomised. Um, I feel like you can buy them here. I reckon you can. Surely. Yeah. Some bougie-ass restaurant's gonna have it for, like, 50 bucks or oh, something. probably. It's probably, know. like, you know, you get, like, quail eggs and... I don't like quail eggs. I've tried one and I'm like, okay. mm-hmm. I like a chicken egg. I'm not over the top. Woofed. Yes. <laughs> Your chickens scare me, too. I hate them. Do you not like birds? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the aggressive, like... <laughs> Flapping situations. Okay, is it the sound or is it the aggression? I think the aggression. Just because it's so like. All up like, in your face. Ah. How do you feel about peacocks? They're not too bad. Because they're not aggressive? I don't know. Have you seen them run at someone? <laughs> oh yeah. my god, I am scared of birds. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's something I could take on. Um, Pigeon? No. No. <laughs> we do the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know, there's too many freaking wild shit in Australia and I just cannot, like... I... Hmm. I'm trying to think what I would have a decent chance with. Like a... Mm-hmm. <laughs> it sounded like I was doing it. No, like a 50-50. Because I'm like, koalas? No. They're like... Yo, those things are what? I'm not saying that one. Oh. Those things are dangerous. Yeah. They're so wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, things are wild. What about... But they're so cuddly. No, I reckon a giraffe. <laughs> wow. Not even that, but if you like punch the back of their like knee, yeah, you reckon they're just concave. I mean, maybe. Yeah, it works for us. Honestly, why not? Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm taking on a giraffe. Okay, you're taking on a giraffe. Um, I'll take on a, a panda. <laughs> Oh my god. Because we don't have that many. I was just thinking of the ones in the we zoo. We don't have that many <laughs> pandas. Yeah. But I'm like, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, because most of them are in the zoo, right? Mm. So they're trained to be good to humans. Oh, right. So you're just going to come up behind her and go. <laughs> <laughs> what were their names? They're like, I don't know. It's been oh. years since I've been to the zoo. When I say years, it's probably been a year. Like, <laughs> I wanted to say it's like. Is what it was like, Yang? Or yeah, I feel like Yanni or Yanni. <laughs> Yanni or Yang or some crap like Wang, that. Wang Wang and Foonie? No. Wait. <laughs> Where did you get them names from? <laughs> that sounds really familiar. Yeah, it does. <gasps> what the fuck is that? <laughs> did I just remember? Wait. Wait. Say it. What are Wang, Wang, Wang. Wang. Wang and Foony. Fat. Yeah, didn't they have... Yeah, it is. Look what? at me go. Yeah, because they had a kid. Are you serious? What's the kid's name? <laughs> um. Uh. It's called I thought it had Yum. a kid. Did it not have a kid? I don't think it had a kid. They were trying to get a oh, preggers, but that's right. it failed. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking more into this. It just says, like, fo- uh, they said that the window for Funi to give birth this year, which was 2019, had passed after she was artificially inseminated during her brief breeding season. Nice. These poor pandas. Mm. See? I'd take them on. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I like how that's my justification. Thank you and homebred. <laughs> oh, so, oh no! <laughs> so you take on a panda and I'll take on a giraffe. Yeah, yeah. we're both at the zoo anyway. So. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> tag team. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you go that side. I go this side. Go. I feel like if I just tried to do that, I'd just get absolutely hammered by its neck. <laughs> just just like, go. I'm like the golf ball to their fucking drive. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> what a good analogy. <laughs> I love that. Ooh. Oh my god. What sort of vibe is your favourite playlist? Oh no, that is such a hard question. So my favourite playlist currently... Oh, it has changed a lot. I've got two. Because I've been listening to them repetitively because I'm trying to make sure they're good for my D&D character. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but literally it's just filled with like... 
how do I describe this? Angsty feminist <laughs> fuck you vibes. <laughs> nice. Literally you've got like soundtrack from Jude Nukem to like a lot of like Good Morning Tokyo's in here, Short Dick Man, like random stuff like that to face off. Love it. Like things that make no sense together, but mm. they work really well. Yeah. Even like Snakes, which is from Arcane, that's a really good song. Yo, I love that. Death Wish, I highly recommend. That's so good. Mm. By Pouty Face. But yeah, just yes. very like. I literally have in the titles like Respect the Heels or Feel the Menu. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. Angst. Oh my god. Hell yeah. It's called My Angsty Vibe. <laughs> mm, I've got so many different like genres, but mine is definitely underrated. Mm hmm. Wait, what's that word? Indie pop. Yeah. And travel. Yeah. Kind of vlog. Um, a lot of like, I don't it, don't expect people to know this. <laughs> well, if you do, awesome. Jump on that wagon. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Like, Petite Biscuit. You've got Palfu. You've got uh, Toby Lou. And Bastille. Yeah. So, Bastille is quite popular. Mm -hmm. um, Pompeii, typical thing. But yeah. there's like two of his songs that are so underrated and I love them so much. Mm -hmm. Which is Thelma and Louise. And another one that I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they're just really chill. Like, they're just good songs. Like, literally, if you're going to do like a, a vlog or like just a good feeling kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the other one? And then the other one I have that I've also been obsessed with is very much it kind of it's the same vibes but it's just more like heavier and darker stuff mm. so you kind of have like i disagree by poppies in there like i just oh love my God, that right, yeah. um i don't even care about you by Misso. Mm. eat spit by royal how, and the serpent how good is missio oh, so, i love this hero that'd be so cool in concert Actually, that'd be really bold. Hell yeah, that'd be so good. Yeah, like... Ooh, oh, Hollow Coves as well. Is a good yeah. one. <laughs> I'm seeing them live this year. Are you? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I didn't that. even know until freaking Davina, Rail's mum, yeah. um, bought them. Oh, shit. So, do you know Hollow Coves? I'm like, yes. I freaking love them. She's like, oh, cool, I bought tickets. And I'm like, I... Awesome? Yeah, Rail's not going. <laughs> Why'd you He's know? like, I don't like them. <laughs> what? No, I'm like, fine. Dumbass. Me and your mum can chill. We're gonna buy the new Hell kids. yeah. <laughs> Is that being dumb? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. It's such a good buy. I'll show you the songs after. But like, hell yeah. It's very. Oh, what's the word? Like, inner reflection kind of thing. Is it similar to kind of like. Oh, I'm trying to think what's called now. The one that you sent me that had like the rain falling in the back and it was just them talking. Ah, uh, yes. Like similar to that vibe? Yeah. 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 What very, is that song called? Very acoustic as well. Um, which I love too. So. Do you remember what that song's called? Um, I haven't. I was it Promise? Might have been. I know you sent me Family. That was another one I love. Family's really, really good. It's a cute one. Oh, yeah, by Mother Mother. Mother Mother's great. Yeah. Um, the other one? By all means, like, I'm going to list all of the songs below because educate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> <Good education. laughs> because, yes, like, Oh my god, it's just been so good. Where is that song? I know I have it somewhere. Okay, but like Holiday from KSI. I know people have a very Yeah, you particular... love that song. I used to love that song so much. I still do. Yeah. But like... It's a good song. I love it. It's great. I feel like people give it shit because it's by KSI. Mm. Like, no other reason. Yeah. Yeah. Where is this? Dude. Yeah, Promise by Ben Howard. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm like, I know it's in the birthday playlist. There it is. <laughs> Got it. And Dream Chaser. That was the other one I was thinking as well. Right. That was from Joey. Yeah. Yeah. Joey, Kennedy, and Matt Walden. Yeah. When I first heard them songs, they were like them really good, inspiring songs that kind of just, I don't know, it put a story in your head. Yeah. Like I was probably in a really bad mental state and those kind of songs just like really hit in like, yeah, the shit's so good. Yeah. Like I have another song that's so much that. It's called Say Again. I will mm. look up who it's by. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. You're fine. Um, but I was, I got recommended this song when I'll uh, see you again by Wild Culture and Raymond. Um, mm. I got recommended the song when I was going through, well, we were all going through a lot of shitty stuff. Um, mm. and I was not doing very well, and this song got recommended to me 
um, because they literally said like, oh, this type of music makes me feel better, so I hope it makes you feel good. Oh, and yeah. every time I listen to it, I'm just kind of like, huh. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yeah. Like, it's just one of those songs where I feel like my brain just immediately goes, oh, listen to this instead. Yeah. Huh. Oh my god, nice yes. Nice and relaxed. Mm. As soon as it ends, I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Something cool, repeat. It really depends yeah. on, like, the mood, but sometimes you just don't know how you're feeling. So, like, I've got a bunch of, like, I've got, like, ten different playlists. Yeah. One's, like, feeling like a bad bitch. One's mm-hmm. for dancing, which has, like, a lot of Doja Cat in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, some Latino music, because that always just has such a good vibe. Yeah. Um... Like a bit of sad music. Mm-hmm. I don't listen to like the the. Mm, actually, no. Paperboy is pretty sad. Yeah, you gotta have like a couple of depressing yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah. Like Paperboy from Palfu is probably like the saddest one. Well, I don't really. To me, it's not that sad, but like to others, it would be sad. He, yeah. Like accidentally hit a cat. Like a no- newspaper boy. He Ooh. hit a cat. Hit it in his bag because he was worried that people saw him mm-hmm. and he didn't know what to do. So he was like full anxiety, panic, and stuff like that. I don't know. Like cute yeah <laughs> it's such a good song but like yeah when i really think about it i'm like oh that's, that's, that's a bit dark mm, yeah. yeah i don't know like i'm kind of similar to you i have a lot of playlists but they're just kind of like random like i yeah. have some where it's like an anxiety helper one yeah or it goes from that to like bad bitch mode or as i call boss mode activated or <laughs> one where like cultivated by Ed, who's just all heavy metal. Oh yeah, you know stuff like that. You, so, you gotta have one metal playlist. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know you get like random shit like that to just like driving with me. You know? Yes. Or like oh, depression, and I'm like, ugh. Yep. I've Thankfully, got like a uh, aesthetic playlist. Mm-hmm. I've got a grain lo-fi playlist. Um, throwback with a lot yeah. of like like what we were listening to both. Before, like yeah. Louis Armstrong. Love. So nice. Um, I miss listening to that type of music, the blues oh, it, and jazz era. It's so good. I know. It's got so much, like, soul in it. Yeah. And that's really corny to say, but, like, but it's there's true. just... Oh my god, there's so much more feeling in it. Yeah. Like, I don't know, some music these days just feel very, like, monotone. It's because they have to produce something. Yeah. Whereas, like, music back then, it was like, they you know they did it purely for enjoyment and to like really reach yeah that pinnacle point and you can feel it as well yeah like like, i like i still love the music that's produced nowadays Mm. but sometimes i go back and i listen to those types of songs and you could almost like this sounds weird but like hear the chivalry in like some people or like hear the like you can just hear the niceness yeah yeah yeah. like one of my favorite songs is i don't want to set the world on fire by the ink spots Mm. every time i hear that yeah i feel like i'm transported back to like 1920s and 30s minus the misogyny but like you know yeah, 1920s, yeah, yeah. and you know i can just picture like people in suits and like doing the slow dance mm. and i'm like yeah oh my god wholesome hell yeah it's just oh like wholesome moments i think are like something to appreciate yeah because like mine is just slow dancing i just want that slow dancing is so cute That's what oh I want. my god like it's the most basic ass thing yeah but I don't want to have to, like, I don't want to have to ask someone yeah, and be oh like, God, will you yes. slow dance with me? Yep. I have to, sure. Yep. But, <sighs> yep. It's so funny because when me and Rail went and watched Dirty Dancing, yeah. he's never watched it. And yep. I like, how dare you not watch Dirty <laughs> Dancing? <laughs> um, And afterwards, well, obviously it's not, it's a great movie, but not necessarily a great one to reference dancing to. Yes. Because it's like... Um, but I'm like, have you ever slowed dance and stuff before? And he's like, I don't know how to dance. And I'm like, that is, oh my god. Aww. And I'm like, you know what, one day we're going to do a slow dance and it's going to be freaking adorable. Yeah. I, I'm really cliche, but I love La Vida and Rose. Mm-hmm. I always get that name and stuff. But I don't know, something about it, I'm not that much of a romantic kind of person. Yeah. But that just kind of hits a peak for me. It's like, no, I'd love to be with my partner right now. Like, that. Yeah, there's cute. like certain little things that happen. You're just like, huh, this yeah. would be nice. Mm. Like, I don't know, because I'm not a person who like kind of goes around all the time and be like, oh, I wish I had a partner to like I don't know, walk with me or some shit. Like, that's, <laughs> I don't really care. Yeah. But like, for example, like when Erin came into my room, we were just chilling, like lying down. And I'm like, and she left. And I'm like, I wish I had someone here to just throw the hole. <laughs> so I was like, pillow. Yeah, like you know, just something simple like that. Yeah, because it was nice. Like, cause she was just laying on my arm and we were looking at stuff together. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, and she left. I was like, 
Mm. Something's missing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. It's just the presence that changes the whole atmosphere sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was weird for me because, like, I've never really... I've never stayed really with a partner mm. that way before. Like, yeah. kind of cuddling into the night. Mm. It's always just been like, cool, good night. Or a little bit of sleep. Or yeah. kind of, like, not being in the same room. Yeah. So, for me... <laughs> you probably do it better than I do. <laughs> Because I forget yeah. that he's there sometimes. And I will literally be like, I forgot you were here. He's like, it's my house. This my, poor man. Yeah, but like still. I forgot you were there. This poor man gets ripped to shreds. But oh, like, yeah. much love to him. It's but fine. He loves you. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he loves you. But like... <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Because like my... If I could like literally say like, my top dream is to slow dance. And then if I could be nitpicky, it would either be slow dancing when it's raining. Or at least kiss when it's raining. I'll pick either. Oh I'm not fussy. That is so cute. Or at least slow dance like under the stars. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I don't care about anything else. Mm. Like whatever. Yeah. My favorite thing is like the the laughing and the walking around. Like if yeah. he can't dance, seeing him try to dance mm-hmm. is it just I don't know. It creates like and like it's more of, like you know I don't know how to dance and I don't want to like fuck it up or anything. Yeah. I'm like no, but like if you do, it's it's cute. Amazing. Like, it's so cute. Yeah. Because um, they're trying for you. Yeah. And it's like, you know, like, oh, it's such an old saying, but it's like, actions speak louder than words. And like, it does. it's true. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> because realistically, those things are true. Yeah. Like, you know, we were kind of mentioning this, like, when we were chatting about promises and saying yeah. how, like, we both don't really care about promises because mm. we know they're not going to come true or, like, they're just built on lies anyway. So it's kind of like... To some degree. Yeah, to some degree. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, for me in particular, promises are just empty lies. Like, I'm waiting for that lie to come true. Mm. Because, you know, promises don't really get kept a whole lot. Mm. You know, if you say, oh, I promise to pick this up, and you pick it up. Wow. Well, yeah. Hooray. You know what I mean? But if it's the yeah. whole, like, I promise to love you forever, or mm. I promise to, you know, always be there for you. It's like, yeah. don't promise, because if the one time you don't do it, is when I need you the most, and then it kind of falters. Yeah. Then the immediate reaction for me anyway is going to be like, "Well, do they think I not love them anymore, or is it go yeah. down that?" Because I'm an overthinker. So mm, same. As soon as one bad thing happens, or something happens that wasn't how I planned it, I'm mm. immediately like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> spiral, spiral out of control. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of promises and stuff like that. And even just talking about long term relationships, it's like oh, but, like, we'll do this in the next five years. And it's, like, I don't... As much as I think about the future for myself... Yeah. I don't like putting an expectation on our future Mm -hmm. in the next five years because you just don't know what happens. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so, like, in terms of promises, promise rings, yeah, I don't really like the idea of putting love on a time limit. Yeah, Yeah, I get that. it, It doesn't really give me... I'm not sentimental with mm-hmm. things, so I don't really get feelings from objects that I'm given. Yeah. It's just what happens, like, that's just me. But actions and stuff like that, and over time, it means so much more. Yeah. And yeah, if you are a person that's been promised something and they haven't really done it, then obviously you have a certain mindset as well. So. Yeah. And, like, you know, when I kind of talk about that, I don't mean in the sense of, like, you know, oh, I promise to do this. Just, I didn't do it. Oh, they don't love me. Like, no. Yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah. levels to it. Like, yeah. if they say, you know, like, I promise to, you know, always communicate with you. And then they're hiding stuff. Or, mm. you know, those types of things. Because yeah. then I'm like, well, why are you hiding something? Mm. What's going on? Like, we yeah. should be able to have this communication. Yeah. You know, stuff where I would think is basic, mm. like talking, can get a bit muddy. Just yeah. because you put the word promise in. Yeah. Because if you just said, yeah. like, I'll try my best... Mm. And, you know, if they keep something from you and you show it to them, like, well, I'm trying, you know, that's a a little bit more okay because there's not that set, I promise, in there. Mm. Yeah, I feel like um, some relationships, um, well, some people use promise to justify actions. Yeah. It's like, well, he said to me, or she said to me that I promise to love you and never lie to you. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, well, they promised, like, there's no way they'd do that. Yeah. And it kind of overlaps the red flags when it needs to be mentioned or seen. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, me personally, I'm not really a fan of the promise. Like, don't get me wrong, it's cute in some areas. Mm -hmm. 
but I wouldn't believe it half the time. Yeah. And that's not from him, that's just from me. So Yeah, and I think it really stems back to the whole actions speak louder than words. Yeah. Like, if you promise on me and then are actually making the physical effort or showcasing the effort to do yeah. that, sure. Mm. That's, you know, or even if you say, I'm not going to promise you, but I'm going to promise myself yeah. to do this. Yeah. But you're just saying it you know what i mean like yeah. so it's like kind of hold me accountable yeah that's probably fine then yeah i just figured out like i'm a massive hypocrite because like i've got a tattoo that says let's promise to myself <laughs> yeah but that's to you yeah do you know what i mean where yeah. i feel like you can promise things to yourself yeah but no, other yeah. people gets tricky yeah no, no, no that that's fair because like i can take responsibility for my actions yeah. and stuff like that Whereas... Because you're only hurting yourself if you break that promise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, but, like, to receive it from someone, it's, like... Eh. Yeah, it, it feels like, to me, it's kind of like that whole, like, get ready to fa- for it to fail. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's... Yeah. That's... As, as sad as that is, like, that's just kind of the mentality I've put myself in. Where it's, yeah. like, you know, every... Because I was always told, like, everyone will stab you in the back. So just be prepared. Damn. Well, that can be obviously a bad thing to constantly think about. Yeah. I try not to. I try and think of the positives of things and just be like, mm-hmm. no, like I trust people. But yeah. obviously, you're going to have a person here or there that does something shitty. Yeah. And so that's why sometimes I kind of am not as surprised as I feel like I should be because I'm like, well, I kind of knew this was going to happen. Yeah. I'm just now curious as to how it would happen because mm. I kind yeah. of already knew it was happening. Yeah. Things like that. It, it, Really, yeah, it's it's interesting because, like, um, I won't, I don't know, digress a little bit too much, but, like, um, in terms of people leaving in my mm-hmm. life, it's normal for me. Yeah. So there's a certain area where it's, like, I won't 100% commit to you because I know you're just going to leave again. Mm-hmm. Um, and for that to change for the first time in my life was very weird yeah um, it would have been scary as well it was and i had a massive breakdown about it <laughs> yeah because i'm like why are you still here kind of thing mm-hmm. it was really confronting too like i didn't mean to be like that but it was just like well you were just gonna leave like everyone else has yeah it's like okay um or in certain circumstances i had to leave so it yeah it kind of ruins a lot of the attachment and like yeah, like, like do you think you find it harder to attach to people because you're having that mindset of they're going to leave? Yeah, 100%. Okay, yeah. Because it was kind of thrown at me from a young age as well. And then for me, I had to, act, like, take that step by yeah. myself and say, no, I I have to leave. Mm-hmm. So then it kind of shifted my mindset being like, well, if people are going to leave or if I need to remove myself, then I just won't really attach to a lot of people. No. Which changed a bit, so... Yeah, like, I definitely think from being, like, even if we say, like, a young, like, from a child, teen, whatever, Mm. that age bracket, you change a lot in your mentality from that to now, Mm. of whatever this is supposed to be, adults or whatever. You know, like, we get told a lot of things as kids that probably wasn't meant the way that it was said, or, like, Mm. sometimes people... You know what I mean? Sometimes people like say stuff and they're like, oh, it wasn't meant to be like that or yeah, the context yeah. was incorrect or as a child you think different things, mm. you know? And so you kind of go through life having that mentality. Yeah. And then when you're older, you're like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just need me at all. Yeah. It's cool. But yeah, I don't know. Just, I guess I realized now in the past, like, couple of months even, like, what I thought as a kid is either incorrect or just vastly different to what other people definitely thought. Yeah. Because I would say a lot of things that I would make as, like, jokes or references or, yeah. you know, would say things that, to me, as a kid, was, like, whatever. And then I would say it in front of, like, friends. <laughs> you okay? I'm just trying to figure out this <laughs> chair. I'll sit, like, on your phone. Continue. Um, yeah. But with, when I say it to other friends, they're, like... Jada. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's something I, I don't notice. I find that 100%. Like, certain things that I talk about seem like it's really easy for me to talk about, yeah. but then it's like not normal at all. Yeah. Like, in other pe- uh, people's prof- 
perspective. perspective. Um, and it's just, it throws me off because it's like, well, this is what I've known. Yeah. Like, am I a weird kid? Or like, yeah, like, that's my life. Like, why is it? Yeah, okay. It's like, yeah. cool, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, it is always interesting because I know, like, just a bunch of random things have been brought up. Like, I started to bring up a lot more stuff mm. the past, like, year or so. Yeah. Of, like, just in general conversation because mm. I was always a bit quiet. Like, 2020 to 21, I was kind of quiet. And then yeah. I was like, nah. <laughs> Guys want to hear shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. 100%. Yeah, so I definitely it was kind of like... And I mean, some of it I kept quiet because I also wanted to wait until I felt like there was a calling off period. Yeah. Especially self-involving my ex. Like, I mm. I purposely waited until A, I felt comfortable. Yeah. And B, so nothing would happen. Yeah. Because I know some of my friends. Any excuse for them to be feisty and or get in yeah, a fight, yeah, quote yeah. unquote, they'll say so they'll take it. And that's the last thing I want is for anyone to yeah. get hurt. So I was like, I'll just wait. You know, I feel like I'm in a good headspace to do this. Mm. Cool. Let me say self, And then I'll make it like a joke or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Because to me, I'm like, well, I don't care anymore. Yeah. If I came across and be like, oh, you know, if I say something and then be sad, like, mm. that's kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. like, obviously some stuff like still hurts that had happened in that relationship now. But yeah, I think that happens with friendships. That happens with yeah. everything. Yeah. Like, it's. It's wild to see how much shit changes between friend dynamics, relationships. Like, I thought, I don't know, like, I thought um, usually you go through a period and then it stops. But yeah. it turns out that's not the case. Like, sometimes it's going to happen when you least expect it. Yeah. Um, you know, dynamics change, people change, you see true colours and stuff like that. So, uh Yeah. I yeah. think it's one of those things as well as that, like, because we're human, we think, or as well as kids, you always think, like, oh, everyone will get out of their, like, angsty stage and be adults. Mm -hmm. Adults go through their own angsty stages, mm -hmm. you know? Even though you're an adult, you kind of are re-going. Like, half the adults act like kids, half of them act like they're older than everyone else, or, you know, some act like their grandparents, or others <laughs> act like they're angsty teenagers who are, have no care about their bodies and just want to destroy them. We know all those people. Yeah, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's weird to then, like, kind of, in a sense, be like, oh, just because I'm still friends with everyone doesn't mean things won't fluctuate or change, because we're all changing every five seconds. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, it's just... Like, if I get another back pain, I swear to God, I'm going to make this change to an orthopedic chair. Like... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, yes. Bro. Oh, my God. It's just, it's it, I don't know. Like, it's incredible how much stuff is unexpected yeah. in terms of meeting people, leaving people. <laughs> um, yeah. And all I that think, kind of stuff. I think as well, like, as obvious as this sounds, but it hurts knowing, like, not knowing when a person's going to leave. When they just up and leave. Like, for me anyway. Mm. When it's like, everything seems fine. Okay, stuff is kind of going a bit weird and then it's just like, cool. Immediate Done. change. Yep. I'm like, oh, yeah. why did that happen now? Yeah. Because I like to be very, like, methodical and be like, okay, well, this happened, this, this, and this. Cool. Yeah. I understand. Mm. Whereas other times, if it's just random, I'm like, wh where was the connecting dot here? Like, why did this happen? Yeah. What, what was the everything? Like, I mm. just, I like to not have all my eggs in a basket, as they say, but you, just kind you, of... You like to know what's going on exactly kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least, like... Yeah, at least be, if I can't know everything, then maybe you have the option to ask questions. Yeah. So I could just be like, why? Yeah, yeah. And then when you don't get them answers, it just turns into a shit show, so... Yeah, because I know for me, like, if I don't get to ask those questions, or at least hear a part of their side of the story, mm. I just constantly think about it. Yeah. Like, all the time. When there's no set conclusion, which seems to be a lot of situations, it drives you insane. Yeah. Um, but I think that's when, over time, it kind of gets less and less. It's frustrating, and it's a long process, but I think that's, like, the best way to go about it. Yeah. Um. Because I definitely think, like, in my opinion, if you can get, like, a closed ending, mm. it's a lot easier. Like, yes, it's going to hurt, probably, because yeah. you're hearing everything that went wrong, 
But in my opinion, it's better to hear what went wrong than to kind of just be like, cool, we're done. Yeah, but why are we done? Yeah. What, what, did I do something? Did you do, like... Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, or it was up. Because mm. I can't think of a single, like, separation or, you know, like, fading of friends or whatever yeah. I've had that has ended with just, like, okay, like, like a close ending. I haven't yeah. had that. Yeah. And so that's why I constantly think about all the people that have either done wrong to me or have just, like, faded. Because I'm like, yeah. why? Mm. I never got to ask why. Yeah. Or I was never confident enough to ask why. Mm. I might have had the option to. But I never yeah. had the, like, courage to learn about, like, yeah. why did you do this? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's hard. Definitely hard to ask why. Because sometimes what you're given is not what you thought. Yeah. Um, and it's really, like, I don't know, it really rattles your brain, too, like, when you don't get a conclusion. But when you do, it's kind of like, because I think I've only had one conclusion mm -hmm. with one person. Yeah. And that's because I said everything I wanted to at that time. They didn't necessarily answer all my questions, but I said everything that I wanted to. Yeah. So it was kind of done. Um, you kind of got it off your chest and that was your closure. Yeah. And I, if I'm, if I can't justify or, I don't know, ask them certain questions that really be like, all right, this is, this is not working, mm. then yeah, it's. <sighs> losing my words um but yeah like if it's if it doesn't work it doesn't work kind of thing yeah. yeah i don't know i think it's just difficult like no one wants to go through a breakup of any sort like friendship family relationship whatever the version is mm. no one wants to go through that yeah, sometimes it's needed <laughs> yeah like sometimes you need to get out of those situations mm. but i still think even in those situations it's still hard yeah like i don't have a lot of experience with those types of situations but I still like to assume that it could be difficult, even if it's the whole process of how do I do this? Oh, yeah. Like, not like, oh, I feel bad, just like, how do I get out of that situation? Yeah. It's really shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, like, it's weird because looking at the conversation that I had a few years back, I think it was actually last year. Was it last year? It might have been, yeah. Or was it? Mm. Yeah mid no early last year i think yeah like, yeah. yeah so wow that's actually not as long as i thought it feels like two or three years to be honest yeah um but yeah like looking back on it i feel like there's things that i could change about that but i've seen how i've developed and grown from yeah. that um but there was like no bad words said everyone agreed but you could tell behind Mm. behind the whole conversation everyone felt very very different about it yeah um which i know now so yeah it's yeah. just something you kind of need to live with and kind of move on sometimes so yeah like it sucks when those things happen but unfortunately mm. we kind of have to let ourselves feel those emotions mm. pick ourselves like back up and get going without being direct you know what i mean <laughs> i'm like directed who <laughs> directed at each other like we're like please look after ourselves yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah please. It's, it's just wild like yeah. oh my god like realistically we've gone through a lot in the past like what oh yeah three months heading to four months yeah i can't like, even explain fuck. how hard it was to plan one of these damn podcasts like oh my god <sighs> it's yeah. been really hard it's, yeah like i would say it's 50 percent my fault just because i'm also like well yeah. <laughs> like trying to plan D and D again, and I'm like, Fuck. <sighs> yeah, it's hard because like out of our like group of friends, we're probably the busiest out of the two, or if not like pretty close to the busiest. Yeah, I'd say that because you know, if we're not at uni, then we're at work, and then if we're not at work, we're doing outside stuff. Like you know, you've got a partner to deal with. I've got. Like dance class that I've taken up again, yeah, and like hobbies and hobbies that and, kind of stuff. You know, yeah. even just maintaining personal sanity, because like, I'm still trying to keep up that as like that's not relevant to me anymore. No. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, or yeah. like trying to keep up our own personal lives, and then it's even harder to be like, right, you got an hour to spare yeah. in your yeah. schedule. <laughs> it's funny because the people that get along really, really well <laughs> rarely see each other. Yeah. But, like, even when I asked you about this, I was like, hey, if you're free and if you're, you know, got some time, we 
what do you think about this? Yeah. You down? Yeah. And literally was like, does it fit in your schedule? I, know, I love how you always have to be like, are you in Tyrone? Well, I, I, like, I don't want to, like, interrupt it's you guys. It's fine. I'd get any excuse to... No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tricking enough. But, like, because, you know, I get, like, sometimes you just want... Sometimes your partner. Like, I fully understand that. You know, sometimes you want time by yourself. I get that. <laughs> that's why I'm just like, hey, essentially... Sorry. No, I was like, that's on top. no you're fine. That's why... <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm kind of, like, more or less asking the question of, like, hey, are you prepared enough to be able to take on these questions or are you prepared enough mm. mentally to receive this you know that type of stuff yeah hit me Let's you know go. like because sometimes it's like no i'm exhausted i yeah. want a nap like mm. which is fine like i completely get that and that's why i try and ask like hey is this okay yeah, yeah. i try and do that with people in general because you know i'm more than happy for people to say no to me mm. or they can say yes yeah i know like i'm shitty at saying no and i need to get better at it <laughs> but it's also just like yeah. Uh, if I say no to everything, then nothing's mm. getting done. <laughs> yeah. It's like, holy shit, dude. This podcast needs to be like, welcome to my life. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, although I'm excited because uh, it's probably like a month away now that this video is going to come out, but like, I'm doing like a video of like every time I finish a pole dancing class, my like thoughts ah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, how I'm going. So, of course, I'm only halfway through yeah. the things and I've got three more weeks left. Oh. And I'm like, Signing. yeah, so there's all these videos of me sitting in my car being like, hey, I'm tired. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> ah, it's like, I'm gonna okay. go home now. I'm gonna yeah. shower. Goodbye. Mm. <laughs> because um, I wanted to like document that process because yeah. that was scary for me trying mm. to be like, cool. <laughs> yeah. Because like, it doesn't have the greatest like, you know, space around it being like, hey, pole dancing. Oh, yeah. Because it's either like, you're either gonna think of it as like, for stripping mm. or some will think of it as for exercise but it's not very often where I'm lucky like a lot of us in our friendship group are very chill with that and I will say oh, it yeah. and they're like yeah cool mm. go for it like I've had a couple of our yeah. friends be like you know send me some videos I want, oh I want to God. see you go and I'm like yeah. oh, scary. Uh, it's good that we like we're pretty chill with it unless yeah. it like there was something that was generally like not sitting well with you but you yeah. kind of ignored it that's one or if we think yeah. it's going to be harmful to someone like we'll mm. say our opinion doesn't mean get listened to but we'll say yeah, it yeah like you know that's what I say all the time it's like you have an opinion but you're an adult so you can figure out whether you go with it or not yeah like so. I feel like our group is made up of we have opinions if you listen that's up to you essentially fuck up that's on you then yeah <laughs> like you know I'm pretty happy to support all of you guys but like if I give my opinion and you don't listen to it, and then my opinion turns out right, I'm not going to sit there and be like... Oh, you're going to rub it in so hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depends on the situation. That's what mates do, though. But that's the thing, that I will rub it a thousand percent. I will oh, yeah. remind you, but I will also be there for you and be like, it's okay. Oh, yeah. But I'll also be like, you're a shithead. Because, yeah. <laughs> as I keep saying, I'm like, look how much pain I would have saved you. Yeah, it's like, look what I told you. It's like, I told you so. But, but it's so, okay, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I come here. Yep. Oh, look at that. If you listen to me, we wouldn't have to do this. Mm. Oh, what a shame. Oh, no. <laughs> what tried to do? But, like, you know, mm. I try not... Well, no, that's a lie. So, sorry, I try not to do it too much. I, I will obviously not do it if they seem upset. I'm not going to be oh, like, yeah, it's, it's up. <laughs> like, yeah, you, know? it's, you pick and choose your scenarios. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's also like, I'm not right very often. And now that I'm starting to become more and more right, I'm like, ooh. Mm. Oh. Oh my god. Time to be like, see? Look mm. what happens. My intuition is just mwah, perfect. I, mm. I respect that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I don't know. It's wild. It's weird trying to be cocky because I'm not ever really cocky. And so the only time I kind of am is when I say something's going to go bad and it does and I'm like... <laughs> I have moments, but I try and hide them really, really well. Yeah. Um... They're not hidden no. very well at all. <laughs> I'm gonna let you run with that lie, but sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no. There's moments where I'm like, fuck yeah, like yeah, I got this shit, and then I do something. It's it's full karma. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. It's like, but it's so good mm -hmm. though seeing it. Sometimes I'm just like, a part of me is like, good, take everyone down a pick. Yeah, <laughs> everyone needs it. Our egos run too high. Sometimes I'm like, good, everyone just knock yourselves down a bit yeah it's basically the universe being like <laughs> psych <laughs> it's like, like um, really it's like no it's like no no this is not happening mm -hmm. that was actually like really fun just like chatting randomly mm -hmm. oh, God. 
I was like, thank you so much for joining me in that podcast because that was a hectic one. But we that's did, okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> sorry about so much randomness, but um, honestly, like I felt like it's kind of just how we've been. Everything yeah. has been so all, all over the place. Yeah. So it's just gonna be that type yeah, of situation. You can just join us for random conversations. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, like half the time. We just are like, <laughs> yeah. <help. laughs> this one's purely just a wing it. This is like an update uh, of, life. of life, hobbies, interests, yeah, mental capacities like, that have love mostly... life. Like you know, like just sh- everything. I have to say though, it is a little bit weird to like think about us six months ago and then like, oh, it's kind of so re- different. Like you know, <laughs> like the eighteen plus first one, right? Like, it was just so weird to talk about some of the topics that I've never experienced before. Yeah. And then now I'm here and I'm like, fuck, I'm full of shit. <laughs> yeah, but that's why it's kind of interesting to go back to that, mm-hmm. which we should, we're going to do soon, is just kind of just go back to that and not ask the same question, but, like, similar questions. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, your mindset's going to be completely different now. Well... In some aspects. In a, yeah, in some aspects it's like, yes, and then others are like, no, that it's the same. Yeah. Like... I guess it was like the really intimate questions. Like, it was yeah. like, mm, don't really know. Where right now you're yeah. like, oh, I kind of know. Yeah, like all that other stuff is like, the size matters. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. Yeah. Like, and all that kind of stuff. It's like, mm, whatever. Yeah. I guess all I say is, don't send dick pics. I, I don't want to see it. And I don't want titty pics either, please. I, <laughs> I've had one before and I got really scared. <laughs> so by one of us? <laughs> no, I actually got it on New Year's Eve. Oh, no, no, right, New Year's, sorry. That's kind of funny. Um, And she thought I was a completely different person. I'm like, Aww. she's like, where are you? And I'm like, home. <laughs> oh, Who is thing. this? And she's like, where are you? You were just in the bar. And I'm like, was I? <laughs> it's like, I didn't go to bar. Right, I'm on my bed, ready to go to bed. She sent me like a freaking full yeah. tits out and stuff. She's like, you want this? And I'm like, not really. I'm straight, but go off, I guess. <laughs> it's like, go off, queen. I appreciate yeah. you, but also... Mm. She's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I don't know you. Stop talking to me. Oh, I feel bad though on that type of stuff. But yeah, like, I wouldn't be surprised if you've probably gotten, like... Oh, you've probably seen, like, half of our tits in this group like, yeah. by now. Yeah, 100%. Oh, easily. 100%. Yeah. Mm. I'll show you this <laughs> later. Uh, Halen sent to me. Amazing. Oh my god. Anyway, yep. thank you all so much for watching and listening. We'll see you guys in the next podcast. Yeah. Bye.